the largest reptile in the world found only in Indonesia. With their massive bodies, they can reach up to 10 feet in length and weigh up to 340 pounds. Are you curious about which animal this is? Join me on this journey right now and don't forget to leave a number one in the comments so I know you're sticking with me until the end of the video. The current population of Komodo dragons is estimated at around 2,000 individuals. They are primarily distributed across islands in Indonesia, including Komodo, Rinka, Flores, Gili Motang, and Gili Dasami. Although they are a rare and protected species, their growth can pose serious issues for local communities and the economy. According to statistics from Komodo National Park, about 1,383 individuals are conserved in these areas. The population density of Komodo dragons varies on each island, with the highest density on Komodo Island estimated at 10 to 12 dragons per square kilometer. Other islands, like Rinka, have a density of around 5 to 10 dragons per square kilometer. The behavior of Komodo dragons is quite unique. They are opportunistic predators and primarily scavengers. They can hunt large animals like water buffalo and deer, and even humans can become their target. An adult Komodo dragon can consume up to 80% of its body weight in a single meal. extremely patient predators capable of waiting for hours to ambush their prey. Additionally, a Komodo dragon's bite contains a toxin that can cause paralysis, weaken the nervous system, and result in the prey's death within a few days if untreated. Leave a number one in the comments if you find the Komodo dragon's venom extremely scary. The 
The damage caused by Komodo dragons to local farming communities is significant, primarily due to livestock losses. According to reports from local agencies, Komodo dragon attacks on livestock such as buffalo, goats, and cattle can result in losses amounting to hundreds of thousands of dollars each year. Specifically, a single attack on a herd can cause up to $5,000 in damages in just one incident. In addition to economic damage, Komodo dragons pose a serious threat to human safety. Although attacks on humans are rare, they do occur with recorded cases over the years. For instance, an attack in 2009 on Komodo Island resulted in the death of a fisherman. To deal with Komodo dragons, farmers in Indonesia have developed various preventive methods, including using homemade traps to catch them. However, these traps are not effective enough to capture large numbers of Komodo dragons. As a result, farmers rely on professional hunting teams to control the situation. Komodo dragon hunting is strictly organized and usually takes place after the breeding season from September to November. The hunting teams are equipped with rifles and are organized into groups of four to six people to ensure safety during the hunt. They need to track the dragon's movements and choose the right shooting position to take them down quickly, minimizing unnecessary suffering for the animal.
In addition to legal hunting activities, Komodo dragons also face illegal poaching, which reduces their population. Along with natural threats like climate change and human activities such as deforestation and agricultural expansion, the habitat of Komodo dragons is shrinking. As a result, Komodo dragons are now classified as an endangered species and are protected by the Indonesian government. Conservation measures have been implemented to protect this species, including the establishment of protected areas and captive breeding programs. Additionally, ecotourism in areas where Komodo dragons live has also contributed to their conservation. Tourists from all over the world come to see this ancient animal generating significant income for the local communities. Overall, the Komodo dragon is a unique and formidable animal with sophisticated hunting abilities and a distinct reproductive system. Though strictly protected, the species still presents many challenges for farmers and surrounding communities. Maintaining a balance between Komodo dragon conservation and protecting human livelihoods is essential to ensure sustainability for both the species and the local population.